Greetings everyone. Teaching mathematics is not easy. It's not easy at the high school level, it's not easy at the university level either. And often for those uh, instructors, professors and teachers who are interested with teaching subjects as calculus or uh, linear algebra or uh, statistics, the task is very, very tough because uh, it is difficult to teach. Students are becoming increasingly um, hesitant or uh, there's a resistance to learn um, numeracy or improve understanding of mathematics or, or calculus. Now, in these circumstances, one can use any help that is available in terms of software or, or teaching methods to improve pedagogy as it relates to statistics and teaching mathematics or calculus. So what I have here is a very brief presentation on how uh, Microsoft Word could be a tool to improve uh, calculus and um, teaching mathematics. And um, so I will show you how um, a free add-in from Microsoft Word could be used to, to um, create materials um, um, for your students as handouts or better teach live math in the, during lectures. So this presentation is rather brief. Um, the, um, the goal for, for someone like myself would be how to teach calculus or statistics and that involves um, computing derivatives or integrals but doing it so that I always face my students and I don't have my back towards them as I would write on a blackboard or a, or a whiteboard. In the past I have relied on symbolic math software and obviously my most favorite one is Maple uh, which comes from Maple Soft. The other software that I have used in the past is, um, is from Mackie-Chan and these are Scientific Workplace and Scientific Word and these um, um, mostly Scientific Notebook it's the cheapest version of the three and again it is very powerful and it's based on NewPad system. While these software are very powerful and very useful and I use them regularly in my lectures to illustrate empirical concepts what I find difficult and often uh, redundant is to take the output from the software and, and plug it into Microsoft Word or other uh, Power um, Word processors and then clean it up so that it's ready for, for, for students and it, it's legible and, um, and it's clean. The question that I face is then can Microsoft do math and of course it can. Um, it has this, this free add-in which is available for Microsoft Word for the 2007 version which could be downloaded from uh, its website. Um, it has a, a free add-in available. It's called Microsoft Math and uh, there are two versions of it. The free add-in um, works with Microsoft Word 2007 and it is quite capable of doing uh, basic calculus, basic derivatives, uh, equation solving, expanding, factoring um, uh, um, equations and also plugging in uh, variable, um, creating an equation with variables and providing the numbers for these to solve them for a particular value um, and even plotting and graphing. Now it's not very powerful, it's certainly nowhere near uh, Microsoft, um, uh, the MapleSoft or, or, or Mathematica's but, but, the, but the reality is that the uh, basic uh, as a basic tool that, which I can use in my classrooms when I'm lecturing um, and then I do basic um, calculations, it is quite powerful um, in doing that. So here I'm illustrating the um, example of how Microsoft Word could be used um, and what you see is a Word document and um, I'm using an example from supply chain management called the quantity discount under um, economic order of quantity. The interesting part is here. Um, now you see here's the equation uh, and uh, which is the equation for total cost and ideally I would like to differentiate with uh, this equation uh, with respect to Q which is the economic order of quantity and then equate it to zero and then solve it for Q to determine the equation. So how would I do it and um, so I've entered this equation already. I just highlight this uh, portion of the equation and when I right click I see now that the add-in is already uh, included and you can see the add-in here. Um, if I click on um, add-ins you see the math add-in and, um, and I don't have to work with it because the right click would do most of the job that I need to be done, that I need. So right here I right click and I say differentiate with respect to Q so I do that and here's my equation um, CH uh, over 2 minus DS 
um, divided by q square and now then I reselect this and I say um, I would like to uh, solve it for uh, q and um, in and uh, in order to do that I would equate it to zero first here we go I just equate it to zero and now I would like to solve it for q and obviously the answer is right here and you could see that the q is equal to two times demand times the transportation cost divided by um, C the procurement cost, cost per unit, and the holding cost, and it has two solutions: one with a positive rate and one with a negative, because it's a quadratic equation here. And the the obviously the you know negative uh, result does not make any sense. This is the actual equation that one sees in the textbooks. So I have it here already. If you see here, and we get the answer. Now I can actually plug in these numbers. Q is equal to um, two and then I substitute the actual values for the demand and other variables here and in fact when I go here I can say um, solve it for Q and I double click and I say can I solve it for Q and there's the answer but notice that the answer is not in uh, um, it still has a square root and I can actually say well you know do, do it again and I say solve uh, and uh, calculate I just say and here is the answer, like 31622.77, and you can just round it. If you look at the quality of the document, the, the way equations are stated, and uh, how they have been formatted, it is very legible, and um, as I design these handouts for my students, I find this um, new tool uh, very helpful. At the end, I would like to illustrate the graphing capabilities, so I just enter an equation here. So I press Alt equal to, and say Y is equal to, let's say, A, x square plus bx plus c and here we go press enter and uh, what if I would were to uh, graph this let's say plot in 2d and right in Microsoft Word this graph is available and then what if I just want it for positive values for x so I just drag it like this here we go and good Bingo, this is done, and then I say insert, and this graph is now inserted. It's a live graph, I can double click on it and I can play with it later. But this is uh, the graph is also inserted in the document, and this is how y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c looks like. And this is all being done directly in Microsoft Word, not in any other um, mathematical software. And um, so basically, um, I would encourage you to download the add-in it's a free add-in in microsoft word and start practicing and see if you can improve your pedagogy with this tool i hate to admit but i feel like thanking microsoft so thank you microsoft for this tool